It's the day after Christmas. I am testing out my new camera. Just doing a little bit of light reading. My dad bought me Time Magazine. Donald Trump put in my stocking. I don't know if it's a joke, but I I like learning about stuff. <clears throat> the last Time Magazine I read was about Mother Teresa. Anyway, um, Teresa, not Mother Teresa, but Teresa who lives here wants to go skinning again on Blacktail Mountain, which is a local ski mountain here in Kalispell, Montana. And uh, this will be her second time going. First time was Saturday. I took her up and that was her first time ever skinning and both of our first time on Blacktail Mountain. It's currently 7.30. I'm gonna go wake her up. It's dark out. It's completely pitch black out there. This is my first vlog. It's gonna be experimental. I'm ready. I've been uh, ready. Huh? I've been ready. <laughs> Shut up. This is uh, Teresa's second time skinning, but second not time. the not the second time you skied. Not the second time. Here we are. We're gonna go down this and then back up. All right, we're headed down. Extremely cold day. It's windy. That should be good. That's the bottom of the lift. Gotta put our skins on. Just got up the first hump. There's Teresa right behind me. Anyway, that's the idea. You just walk right up the hill. The skin's on the bottom of your skis. We're taking a different route than we took yesterday. My nose is bleeding. It's so dry out here in this Montana weather. They don't have any uphill policy here like they do on big mountains, so it's kind of a free for all. We're getting up there. I think we're probably about halfway. That's Teresa in the background there. She's doing pretty well for her second time skinning. First time I ever went skinning, first, second time, I literally threw up. You can see I've already taken my jacket off. Just unzip those. We got a little bit of a vent. We're almost to the top. Absolutely beautiful day. This is up on Blacktail Mountain. Nice view. Woo! Breaking trail. So we're at the top of the mountain. Looks like some kind of radio tower with giant drums hanging off of it. And our skin track. I think we kind of went off course a little bit. We gotta get going because Teresa has to be at work at one. One. One o'clock. Done. So we got an issue. Holy Hannah. We got to the top. Oh. Oh, no. We are empty. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, pretty empty, I'd say. I'd say. So hopefully. Make it down, what do you think? Neutral. We, we're not paying attention. <laughs> Low fuel sign. We're gonna try it anyway and hopefully get down. Gas station's at the bottom and lakeside. So we popped it in neutral. <laughs> Head 
down the mountain. Cross country skis, snowboards, oh. and oh. Don't think we made it yet. What if we die right here? Hit it. Literally below the red line. That was a, a success, I'd say. We were just right on time. She's got like 22 minutes to, well, probably like 21 minutes now to get to work. I just wanted to address that this is not my house, house sitting for some friends, and the truck I've been driving is not my truck. My truck actually <clears throat> is broke down right now. The battery is dead and it won't hold a charge. I actually live in Whitefish, and right now I'm in Kalispell for the last week or two I've been here. Um, they get back tomorrow. For today I actually have to go into Whitefish. For one I need to pick up my medications for my ulcerative colitis. First I need to get a battery for my truck and the reason why I got to get it in Whitefish is because the Napa and Whitefish knows me. Um, I don't have a receipt for the battery and it's still under warranty. I'm pretty sure they'll hook me up. There's my stocking from yesterday for Christmas. I haven't had, a, had time to take everything back to my apartment in Whitefish, so I'm gonna do that. This is the beast. It's called Little Blue. It's pretty rusty out. Chasing tail. It already had that on there. I didn't put that on there. The guy that I bought it from was a, uh, he owned a bunch of hound dogs and he hunted mountain lions and stuff, so. That's what that's about. It's got a sweet custom grill. That's the truck I drove up to Bridger in with Teresa. And I'm going to use this truck to jump my truck. Now I gotta grab the jumper cables. Put the red handled thingy-mabob on the red positive side and you want your black negative. So, if that makes sense, run it over to your dead vehicle, hook it on there, and hook it on there. There we go. Sometimes you gotta start the um, truck you're jumping off of, but sometimes not. Hopefully, won't have to. Yeah, we're good to go. This is Montana for you. Probably help if I had a better brush. My truck is a real junker, but I mean, I still love it. It just has all kinds of issues. I don't know if you can hear it right now, but it's revving up and down. Something wrong with it. I don't have an e-brake. So I have to, it's hard to get the truck to stay still. Yeah, you hear that? Back and forth like that. Anyway, I gotta put the dog back in the house and grab my skis. It's probably kind of annoying, that revving sound. That's, I don't know what's wrong with it. I've tried different things. I've looked on YouTube videos. Um, might be the brake booster. Okay, and uh, so first stop is Photo Video Plus in Kalispell. 
Gotta pick up those pictures. They're supposed to be gifts for my mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, so gonna go do that. Star Wars. You know, I never really was into Star Wars that much. I just got saw Rogue One not too long ago. When I'm driving, there's a I like to listen to Star Wars music. This is Montana, okay? It's like a frozen wasteland. And I have a crappy truck. It's just uh, it's part of the part of the experience. I forgot my goggles. So I gotta head back. <laughs> like I said, I don't have an e-brake. Sunglasses too. Hat. All right, should be good to go. So, can't turn my truck off because the battery might die. I'll be right back. So, here's the first picture of a horse. Um, that's for my grandma. And this is a picture of me in Glacier Park. A picture that my dad really likes and uh, he wanted that for um, the basement at his place. This is up on Mount Sae in Glacier National Park. So hopefully I'll get to take you guys up there sometime. All right, we are in Whitefish. Napa. Battery's dead, getting a new one. We'll take it off. My tool box is abysmal. Some major cramps right now from my UC. I don't mean, mean to be gruesome or anything, but I'm in the bathroom in Napa. This is what happens okay. all day long. Sometimes my meds don't work. Wow. Um, Napa just hooked me up. Yeah, I love these guys, they're awesome. I have a feeling that's gonna stay on there. I need better tools. My tools just absolutely blow. <sighs> Give that a try. Yeah, Napa and Whitefish. Best Napa around. Next stop is right across the street. Gotta go to Super One, pick up my medications. Got my meds. Terrible, terrible for you. Um, I actually don't react too badly to it. I guess some people get lots of side effects from it. For me, it hasn't been too bad, um, but the doctors really don't want me to stay on it for long extend, extended periods of time. It's only supposed to be used temporarily to reduce your flare-ups, but um, yeah, it's the only thing that works, so. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to live in pain, be in the bathroom all day, or are you just going to, you know, take the drug? And honestly, I, 
I'd take the drug, so. You can kind of see a big mountain in the distance there. That's my apartment complex right to the right. Pretty cool little place. Little hangout place before you head up Big Mountain. And this is where I'm meeting Zeph at. What's up, dude? This is my friend Zephan. What's up? I just got off the mountain. It was epic. Fresh powder. Didn't expect that. Wasn't saying that was gonna snow. It was sweet. So Zephan got a uh, pass this year. I didn't, but uh, I'm gonna try to skin up as much as possible. Lots and lots of beer. All right, I am now at my apartment. Yeah. Bring in all my Christmas presents. Letters. Stocking. Hooey. I gotta say, this uh, vlogging thing is a lot harder than I thought. It uh, it's it's pretty hard to like control a camera and have all this stuff I've got to do. I'm trying to change batteries. I'm trying to bring in stuff, and I'm trying to think about. There's just a lot to think about. That's why I want to keep this as just raw, honest as possible, nothing fancy, just a little glimpse into my life. Got that in my Christmas stocking. I like chocolate. It's good. Williams. For my cousin Shantae and her husband. What's his name? Logan. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That's Logan. That's their new baby boy. And that's them somewhere. Looks like it's definitely not Glacier Park, but it looks pretty cool. So tomorrow I'll be done house sitting and I'll be back here in this apartment which um, will be kind of nice because I have everything. I think I'm gonna end the vlog for today, December 26th, 2016. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Always, right at the end, crap myself.